Hello there, and welcome to another episode of Daily Magic. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I am so happy you could join me. So, as you can see, today's new daily quest is to cast 20 white or red spells. <laughs> uh, previously, it was to kill 15 of our opponent's creatures, so yeah, not gonna. I prefer not to do that. So, kind of pairs nicely with the other one. I find that really funny. But anyway, in the last episode, I did say that I would look into potentially making a new mono red, and I did just that. As you can tell by the name, this is a prowess-focused deck. So, good number of instants, so good number of instants and sorceries. Uh, a lot of our creatures have some form of prowess. Will have prowess in some way. Swiss beer is a staple of this of these kind of decks, and just mono red in general. I am running, we have three copies of Fugitive Codebreaker. It has prowess and haste, very nice. We have a spell, we have three copies of spell spear, again, prowess, and if we decide to transform it at some point, we'd be taking two damage because we don't have any blue mana, but it becomes even more power having double prowess. Very nice. This card does not have prowess, but it does have the ability, it gains plus two power uh, when you cast a non-creature spell, I don't know. I have obviously I don't know yet if it doesn't say that that only applies once per turn. So I'll be interested interested to see how much that stacks. Because if you know, if if it stacks, I'm assuming I'm going to assume it stacks. So that's gonna be kind of wild. And Godric. Mainly because he has haste, um, but because this is a fairly cheap deck with Godric being being our most expensive card at three, if you don't count spell spears, transformation ability, um, we could probably throw in two two permanents with him on the field to give him his uh, boost into a four four flyer for a turn. Some of the new spells we're rocking: demonic ruckus, not bad. Enchant creature it gets plus one plus one has menace and trample not bad, and when it is sent to the graveyard you draw a card. You can plot it, you can plot it for a single red mana, and then play it for nothing on your next turn. Very nice. So yeah, uh, everything else is pretty. I feel pretty standard. Ancestral anger, Kamano faces Kazakhstan, uh, monstrous rage, play with fire, shock, pretty normal. Uh, lightning strike. I am running a legendary land, something I don't do very often, but I thought, why not? I mean, it's just, it's, it comes in, it enters in the battlefield, it's not tapped when it enters in. Should we need to, we can use it to create two 1-1 one, one colorless spirit creature tokens that have haste when they come out. I mean, not bad, so it should be fine. Anyway, that is a brief rundown. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Give it a shot. Okay. Pretty good start. Well, a kind of good start. Let's go ahead and burn them. Yeah, we don't need that. Why, why are they playing the same, the same hand? That's what I want to know. 
They're playing the same, pretty much playing the same deck we are. It's rude. It's rude is what it is. <laughs> but they actually got to start off with some creatures, which they did not. Good to know, though. Definitely should try that. This isn't helping. <laughs> Absolutely as much damage as I can. Because the only way we can win this is if we start dealing more damage. That's all, that's the only thing we can do. but yeah we gave a decent we gave a decent shot So it does, okay. Not, it's really, that's good to know. So, so yeah, Slick Shot's ability does trigger for every time you play. That's good, that's good to know. But yeah, that's really weird. I put, we go up against the exact same deck for the most part. That's okay. That is, that's okay, I guess. We could have won that if we had gotten more creatures, but like I said, that is okay. We'll know for this match. Yeah, see, that's better. That is so much better. We'll probably go in with, obviously, Swift Spear, our next creature, will be show off. Seeing as how Spell Spear is the only, is like the only card in here that doesn't have haste. Essentially. Or we force them to burn a lightning strike. That works. That works for me. So if I could pull another land, that would be absolutely perfect. Because then I could lightning strike my opponent, boosting everything, monstrous rage, boosting everything, and then probably get the win. Yeah, so you do realize Feldon can't block, right? Oh, happy days. Yeah, 
have exactly what we needed there. Phew. Exactly what we needed. Not too bad. With that, we completed our the daily quest from, from the previous episode. Not too bad. We did level up. What did we get? Just a pack. Not bad. Let's go ahead and finish things off with one more match. A swift spear. That's funny. It's funny to me, at least. That's, fine. That's probably better. Yeah. Best thing to get rid of. Godric. I would pr prefer another play with fire or shock or a lightning strike. Something that deals direct burn damage. That's what I would prefer. Or that's fine too. Oh, right. I forget, I forget it can have lifelink. That's annoying. Yeah, I forget, I forget it can do that. Hmm. Then again, I've never really seen someone play Ezrin. Ezrim. So I'm gonna guess they're gonna use its ability again. No? Oh, come on. Don't mess with, don't, don't mess, don't, don't take me down now just because, uh, because I can't pull, I can't pull a direct damage card. That'll bring them back up to eight. Yeah, I'm not happy with that.
going so well for us. Huh? Then we just we couldn't couldn't draw any direct damage. That's just how it goes. Oh, and there's a shock that right that just went to the grave. Wouldn't have helped us here, but still. Yeah, it wouldn't have helped us here, but still. <laughs> still kind of funny. Funny to me. Really? You're going to do that? You're going to do that? I'm playing stuff just to play it at this point. I'm going to be, I'm going to be petty. really is too bad we didn't pull something that could do like 5 damage, that would have been great. Like a, a Witch Frenzy, a Witch Hunter's Frenzy, or something like that. But, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and get and see. Because <laughs> they didn't have the decency to finish the match, when they obviously, obviously could. So we'll just do what we can, and then see you later. <laughs> but anyway, that's gonna do it for us. Not, not too bad, all things considered. We would have won that match if, if our luck would, just wasn't, if our luck had been better. So that's okay. I did not forget. Let's go ahead and open up this pack before I wrap it up. Anything cool? Anything interesting? Not really. This guy's wicked looking. The Gloomfang Mauler. Crazy. All right. What is our rare? Oh, actually, a new one. Invasion of Theros. Enters the battlefield, search your library for an aura, god, or demigod card, reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle. And if you can take it, if you can deal four damage to it, it'll become Ifara, ever sheltering, which is a legendary enchantment creature, god. Uh, has lifelink and indestructible as long as you control at least three other enchantments. Okay? Whenever another enchantment enters the battlefield under your under your control, draw a card. That's not bad. But with that, I am going to wrap it up. If you enjoyed the, enjoyed this episode, which I do sincerely hope you did, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you happen to be new to the channel, hello, welcome, and please do consider subscribing to stay up to date for whenever new content is posted. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.